What's up, y'all? Macho here. Welcome back to Scald against the Black Priory. We are about to enter this well. There's some crying children in there, or at least the spirits of crying children. And I wanted to check, I don't think I did this last time, I wanted to check my character stats. Because we've got motivated. When we did our rest, we were not able to make any arrows, but I was able to entertain the party and give them the motivated condition. So this gives us one initiative and one willpower. I don't know how long this lasts. I wonder if it's permanent throughout the day. Um, so we've got 1500 XP to level up. And then we've got 800 XP, and she also, Cat, has the motivated condition also. And Cat's only level 2, we are level 3. We're sort of set up on weapons and armor for now. We've got this, we put this hood on, it doesn't give us any extra bonuses or benefits and our encumbrance is 55 of 220 so I'm always keeping an eye on that but uh, yeah let's uh, let's jump in the well the well seems ordinary enough to examine it more closely a thin layer of slimy black mold seems to cling to its walls, and a heavy odor of filth rises from its depths. You could swear you heard something splash around in the shallow waters. A ladder has been placed in the well shaft, and you could easily descend if you wanted to. Oh, I think we will. I think we will descend into the well. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, we're here in the bottom of the well. This is the, the rope and bucket. That's how we get back up. Okay. So let's go down in. I don't see anything. I wonder if we should sneak around in here and just be cautious. Ooh, as we descend deeper into the earthly cave, you realize that the black mold covers most of the walls. Even the air is thick with floating black specks. Here and there, the mold seems to form no nodules. Your mind fills with images of the nodules bursting open in an obscene mockery of birth and black worm-like tendrils of mold spilling forth into the world. An irrational urge to touch the nodes begins to grow inside you. Oh no. Oh no. I don't. Oh no. I don't want to touch the mold. Nope. No, we're not going to do that. We're keeping an eye out for creatures. Anything other, anything else that might be interesting? Perhaps it's the thickness of the air or the sickly miasmas that fill as part of the cave, but stars flash before your eyes. Your mind is assaulted with images of alien landscapes. Cities? No. Giant living structures, almost like the coral that the traders from the Seagate sometimes peddle, but large, so large it almost touches the sky. Then you see it. The structures themselves writhe with obscene life. Innumerable black, worm-like tendrils of black mold cover them. They beckon to you. Give in to them. Let them take hold. In the sky above you, something massive shifts. We carry on. We go deeper into the, the well here. Ooh, you 
feel as if you're dragged under and into the crushing blackness to unfathomable depths. Stars flash before your eyes again and you once more see the impossible landscapes. Cyclopean edifices of writhing black shapes. An age of worms. You understand now. This is not some alien dreamscape. This is Warda. This is home. Excuse me? The planet on which you find yourself, noticeable for the presence of the Reticulum, the dominant ruling power is the Galleon Empire. What is the Reticulum? The field of arcane energies that surrounds the planet of Warda. The Reticulum is the source of all power for the Imperial Magi. Okay, so we're, we're still on the planet. Well, let's continue. And you, you are a high priest, the god regent of a perfect world. And now it is time. The sky sunders, seven eyes see. It comes, give yourself to it. Uh, we've got some willpower. We roll, we gotta get a three. We roll, and we get an 11. Awesome. Gathering all your willpower, you rest back control of your faculties and forge ahead. On the wall ahead of on the wall ahead you spot it. A festering ganglion of black ichor with two small human skulls leering from it. Ganglion. Okay. What is this? The mass of glistening mold pulsates with a grotesque peristaltic motion as you approach it. There's words in here I don't understand. A peristaltic? I'll have to look that one up. Embedded in it is a collection of small animal bones. Nonetheless, you have no problems identifying two complete small human skeletons. These are the kids. We grab the bones. One by one, you pry loose the bones from the writhing of the ganglion. Its motions become more and more agitated as you work and a wave of relief washes over you as the last piece comes loose. Now you must make your way out of this death trap. Oh my god. Stealth. Are there creatures here? I don't see anything. Sneaking out. Whoa! <clears throat> the two diminutive shapes materialize as if from the very walls themselves. Bodies alive with writhing mold, their blank, idiotic faces stare up at you in a grotesque imitation of life. Your blood runs cold as organs that should never shape human voices spill forth the sound of children laughing. Loud shriek escapes from the horrors, and in a maelstrom of writhing blackness, the two pathetic creatures reshape into lean forms that tower over you. They do not intend to let you leave. Within athletics, maybe we can try to dash past them and escape. A five or above. Okay. Let's see. Awesome, we got a nine. Feigning left and dashing right, you manage to slip past the mindless creatures, and before they manage to regain their bearings, you have clambered up the ropes and escaped the well. As you flop over the rim of the well and onto the ground, a faint mother escapes from below. Ooh, so we made it out. We've got the bones of the children. The tragic mold-covered bones of two children. So let's talk to the mother. She's rocking silently back and forth. I have your children's bones. Marita looks up at you and blinks as if waking from a dream. Without a word, she gingerly takes the small bundle of bones in her arms as if it was a swaddled infant. She cradles it for a moment and then looks up at you with grateful eyes. She gently strokes your cheek once and then turns and wanders into the fog. You've set her free. Falling to your knees, you wretch violently. If it is from the conqueror mold or the emotional moment, you can't quite tell. Kneeling in the grass, you notice a satchel lying where Marita was kneeling. You get a feeling it was left there for you. 
Slowly, you regain your composure and get to your feet. Shambling away from the well, you suddenly stiffen. Did you just hear something? A child's voice, perhaps? Or was it just the wind? We got a backpack. Oh, gold ring. Okay. Potion of Cure Disease. Marita's cookbook. And loot. Uh, money. Yes, dude. I wonder... I'm curious what happens if we go back in the well. Probably nothing. So this ring is... Just a ring. We can wear it. I don't know what it does. But it's worth something. And then we've got the the cookbook. So let's read it. Okay, vegetable soup. Potatoes, carrots, and leeks. All of the above can be found growing in our field. Farmer's omelet. Seabird eggs will do just fine. Onions grow wild in abundance. Nice. We got two recipes. So I'm thinking we cook. I'm thinking we cook. I am curious about what happens if you go back down inside. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna save scum. back inside. Well seems ordinary enough. Blah, 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 blah. Descend. Monsters? Oh, yes, it's here. You know? Old child. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. fight and you know if it doesn't work out we'll load our save and we won't fight so here uh, I'm gonna shoot an arrow maybe there's two children here so we did eight piercing damage okay okay I like how he raises his weapon like we can fight now and then I can perform maneuvers. Shield rush. No, I don't want to do that. Just swing with this with the sword. Four damage. Okay, okay, okay. What sort of arrows are we using? The poor arrows? And then we have some normal hunting arrows. Okay. Yeah, let's uh let's continue to shoot this guy. Nine damage. Very good. And four. And they both miss me. Amazing. Um You Took one out, and then we'll take this other one out. Um, I think we swap. We get down here. Ooh, we did five damage. We did it. We did it. We got 228 XP and we got some rot mold. Okay, so now I think... Oh. Whoops. Now I think we... I think we explore. Not stealth anymore. We'll see what we can grab here. Let's see if there's anything... Of a note. Nope. Okay. So, we took some damage. I don't know if it was worth it. I don't 
don't know if it was worth it. There's apparently a door here. I don't know. I'm gonna get in there. Anyway. What can we sell? What can we sell? What do we have? Rot mold. Used in potion of speed. I don't think we got any other trinkets. Some weapons. Oh, okay. And does he have anything we want? Suspicion is three. We can steal money from him. steal a potion I guess we can let's see oh uh, yeah we gotta roll a six ah we're not gonna do it not gonna do it I will use some recipes though we'll cook, cook some food we can cook a uh, vegetable soup we can cook a farmer's omelet So, so food value of 12, vegetable soup is a food value of 14. So I say we make as many of these as possible, or I can only make four of these. <clears throat> Crafting skill plus one. She has a crafting skill plus two, so she should be cooking the food here. So, yeah. We'll make four of these. Oh, she got, we got two of them out of that. And then we can still make a farmer's omelet. Make five. What oh, we got two, two, two. Awesome. That may have been a mistake to make all that food at once, but hey, you know. <clears throat> now I think. going to uh, we're going to the cave here on the left side oh we can't get up damn we can't even go over the top here Okay. All right, so we'll just climb down, I guess. Descend easily enough. And we'll climb up here. Climbing up. And we'll go into this upper entrance here. We're in the cave now. <clears throat> Eons worth of the seas ravage. Eons worth of the seas ravage upon the land has given birth to this cave. Okay. From its depths, a stench of seaweed and rotting flesh arises. 
So foul is it that it feels like some evil entity attempting to force its way through the pores of your skin into the core of your being. Um. Try not to vomit. Need a six or above. Let's see how we do. Oh, wow. Did good. Stealing your resolve, you manage to calm your breathing. Though the stench persists, you manage to push the image of foul things in the darkness, feasting on the spilling entrails of swollen sea corpses from your mind. You carry on into the darkness. Maintain stealth. Just sort of exploring. We've got some mushrooms. Are these more mushrooms? Yes. I'll take them. creatures giant bat okay holy crap the bats. Um, put you back here. Put you up here. We'll take shots. Does it have vitality zero? Oh, okay. Wound six. This one has vitality five, wound seven. Okay. So no vitality left on this one. Yes, I'll shield rush? What does that do? Oh, it's a pushback. Got it. Got it. Whoa, and I alerted the other two. Um, nice, 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 nice. And I'm taking taking some hits here. Can I just shield rush whenever I want? It's a one turn cooldown. Oh my god, that's amazing. Just hit this bat. Oh, and it pushes me forward again? Okay. I don't know. We'll just shoot this bat. We did a crit. Nice. Are they going to come for us? defend from here are they panicked okay um we'll move up three and he's defenseless what does that mean wow i think panicked is just uh they can't take a turn. I 
can't reach any of these. Damn, it moved. Okay, that was not good. So I'm gonna go into melee. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. Shoot. Should be able to just target these guys. I can't hit that one, but I can hit this one. Good. Awesome. Bats easy enough. I did take a hit. I took a hit. But it's all good. I didn't get any bat items though. Cave child mushrooms. He had nearly grown accustomed to the foul stench that lingers in these caves, but now it once more assaults your senses with renewed vigor. Rolling out of the eastern passage like so many black tendrils probing for a way into the very core of your being. Whatever lies ahead must be at the center of the rot that permeates this pit. Try to forge ahead. We gotta roll a six. And we easily roll a six. Through grit alone, you refuse to let the foulness find purchase, and you fight down the nausea that wells up inside you. Oh, we see some dead bodies. We see a chest. We see another dead body. What's this? Some mushrooms? The corpses of the doomed crew of the Zephyr are arranged around the chamber's central column. A pale light shines down from an aperture in the vaulted cave ceiling above, illuminating their bloated features and pale blue skin. Is there a form of artistry to their arrangement? For a brief moment, you almost find it beautiful. The thought comes into your mind unbidden, an interloper. Stepping between the corpses, you spot a man who you immediately recognize as of Zephyr's first mate. Around his neck, a sturdy chain glimmers, and you carefully fish out a strange octagonal amulet, richly filigreed and with the navigational rosette of the nautical guild carved on it. This is no doubt the captain's seal, and is apparently an item that the guild will pay handsomely to have returned to them. Good. As you pocket the amulet, you, come, you become aware of movement in the waters around you. Well, there's a creature behind us. Strange, stalked eyes regard you as several of the chitinous horrors emerge. No doubt the abominations have come to feed on the flesh of the dead, or the living. I wonder if we can try to sneak away. A nine? We got a nine! You carefully step away from the corpse and begin to try and make your way out of the horrid chamber. Okay, so we made it out, but there's a chest here. There's two. Two giant crabs. Oh god, they're gonna see me! Ooh, math's work, leather boots of thievery! We're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get attacked. Oh, 
Oh, there's three of them? Holy crap. And yeah, we'll, we'll start combat here. Oh, okay. Step down here and attack. Holy crap! They don't take very much damage. Yikes! Oh man, this is rough. This is rough. Can I shield rush you? No! Oh my god. Wow. Getting my butt kicked here. Then there's no flea. It's not good. You're gonna go I have to go into melee. Oh, taking some damage here. We'll just melee. Oh my god! Yikes! Oh, we're getting rushed by giant crabs. It's not good. We don't win this. We don't win this. Okay, there's one. Oh my god. The giant crabs are messing us up. Oh no. Try to use a potion? Okay. And I still get to fight? Okay. Oh my god! In the water? It's on the high ground? We did it! Holy crap! So I'm still alive. We gotta get out of here, dude. Oh, man. Okay. Got a level. Well, that's good. You know what? This... Wow, this worked out perfectly. We are learning things. I've got three points. Um, shield training, phalanx, defend ally. Or, no, I think we wanted second wind. Today, first time you take wound hit point damage each combat, you automatically regain vitality. Oh, that's gonna be so good! This is gonna be good too. Stand your ground, defending. Oh, can give everybody defending. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just do second wind. Get some healing. Move 
remove my injuries. And then for Cat, she leveled up too, but her... So it doesn't, her wounds don't matter. Um, let's see. Tradecraft. I'd like to give her more crafting. Um, here's her armor. That's cool. Precise strike, hide in combat, and backstab. You start combat hidden. That might be good too. Fletching doubles the chance of recovering a spent arrow after combat. Oh man, that's so good. I don't know about backstab though. I guess eventually she could she could spec into more of a rogue. I like her as an archer though. I like her on the back lines for now. I think I might yeah, let's let's get into ranged here because I don't think you get backstab like they're vulnerable successful backstab adds a character's backstab bonus so it's not a stealth attack it's literally a backstab So if you're flanked, okay, so that's one way to get backstab. The other way is vulnerable. Oh, but I don't know if you can backstab with a bow and arrow. I'm thinking bow accuracy up to bow finesse. Oh, we gotta be level five. Shoot. Well. Yeah. This is all like backstab. Thievery. Pierce armor. I would like increased thievery though. Precise strike. Mm. Let's get thievery and let's work towards Pierce armor. Yeah. Well, we did get a full heal, so that's nice. Oh, what's up here? 
Another chest. Awesome. Sturdy wooden chest. Yeah, let's pick the lock. With a thievery seven. We got it. Masterwork horned helmet of defense. Yo. Plus one to dodge. What is, oh, no, hold on. My dodge is one, cat's dodge is three. I think Cat's getting to wear the helmet too. She's getting everything right now. I'll I'll wear the hood. I don't know how I get to the Maybe I have to smash the the box to get it. Oh, we got a ladder. Where does this go? Stepping into the fresh air, you pull the strange octagonal guild seal from your pocket and examine it more closely. The dark metallic surface is covered in intricately carved lines and symbols. It reminds you of a mix between a compass and an astrolabe. Crafting my, my crafting an eleven. I don't know. Oh my god, nope. This artifact is not mundane and you're inclined to agree with Kat. That might be worth something to the nautical guild or something someone else. Beyond that, the strange amulet is beyond your ken. You feel the weight of the strange device in your hands. For a moment, you're back on the deck of the Zephyr. Monstrous tentacles ri rise above the ship like strange alien towers. Terrified screams fill the air. You shudder. Cat's voice snaps you out of it. If we ever get off this bloody island and back to the mainland, the guild will pay well to have that returned. All I ask is you remember who told you about it. Yeah, we'll split the coin. You can keep the coin. All I want is to be done with the guild. Be free to wander as I like. Maybe wander up to my brother and stick a knife in his fat gut. What's up with your brother? Hi. Twas my older brother who sold me off to the guild. I was bloody 12. 20 years is what I owe them on account of that bastard. I've already wasted 10 years. Her voice breaks for a moment before steel creeps back into her otherwise soft features. Like I said, gutting the bastard will go a long way towards setting things right. And this amulet's gonna help you somehow? Sure, I'm free enough for now, but the guild doesn't like to let their assets go, and they have a way of catching up with those who jump ship. Even someone as lowly as me. Dangling a recovered Captain Steel in front of them is exactly the kind of thing that might sway them. Yeah, we'll do what we can. I'm liking you more and more. Let's start by getting off this bloody island alive. Okay. Shortcut. Cool. Let's go back down. I have more exploring to do. Um, what is my lore skill, by the way? My lore is one. Okay. Lore is one. Crafting is one. It would have been maybe the same result. I wish there was a way for me to check that as I 
as I look at the abilities. Ooh, a strangely haunting piping can be heard from the caves ahead. Surely it must be the wind? Then again, it rises and falls with an eerie sense of musicality that does nothing to set your mind at ease. So, maintain stealth. See what else is around here? Oh, something. Too dark to make out anything? Albino Leech, level four? Yo. Yo. Not worth it. Albi level four albino leeches? What level am I? level four she's level three maybe I can take them on I don't know large misshapen crabs emerge from the water all around you intentionally or not the seemingly mindless beasts have laid an ambush for you damn it damn it giant leech albino leech Crabs. Level 1 crabs. Okay, so the albino leech is a level 4. Giant leech is a level 3. Ah, we might be okay. We might be okay. Gave her the phalanx. See if she can... Out of range. Damn it. Oh, I can fire at this one. So they're all alerted now. I can't shoot while I'm in melee. Unfortunately, I can't swing without, like, it bringing me forward. Leeches are moving. We'll swap to arrows. And it's defenseless? Yeah. It's no longer panicked. Hit this one. Maybe I just keep shooting at this one. Miss. Crit. Eight piercing damage. Awesome. I'm just going to stay here and defend. Sort of bring all these guys into a choke point here. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll just stay defending. Let them come up. I'm 
miss. Damn it. Okay, we're good. We took a hit, but we've got second wind. Out of ammo, so I think we can just swap in our good arrows. Miss, damn. Oh. Crit. I'm bleeding. Oh no. I'm gonna have to second wind. Oh my god, I'm taking hits. This is not good. Not good. Here we go. Shoot an arrow. Can I second wind again? Yeah. So I can second wind and attack. That's nice. That is nice. We killed it. So we took some hits though. Um, we took some wounds. Let's see. Took an injured arm. Hmm. I wish I could use second wind now out of combat. Take a vitality tonic. I'm not bleeding. I just have a wounded arm. So I'd have to, to rest. So I think now that we've taken out the leeches, we can go over here. Some mushrooms. 80 gold. Sort of just exploring the left side of this cave. Who's that? A survivor. Who, who goes there? A haggard man dressed in the livery of the nautical guild huddles apprehensively in the corner of the small chamber you're standing in. His lips are dry and cracked, and he appears to be parched. Dead emperors, please tell me you found a way out of this pit. What are you doing here? They took the bodies of the drowned, men and women I've known for years, all blue and swollen, dragged them into this cave. Crabs as big as horses. How can such a thing be? What's wrong with this place? In any case, I was too weak to fight back when I landed and they must have thought I was dead. Dragged me into the darkness. But when I heard those sounds, claws rending dead flesh, something awoke in me. I kicked and screamed as best as I could and they let me go. I ran as fast as I could but I took a turn in the darkness and ended up here. I could hear them moving about in the caves around me and I didn't dare try to make it out. If you hadn't come here, I'd have died from thirst. Way out should be clear for you now. Thank you so much. I'll live to see another day. 
by the golden dead, I'll be mending my wicked ways if I make it out of here. No more dice and whoring. The desperate man wastes no time scrambling past you and towards fresh air and relative safety. That was Ari. The cat seems flustered. Poor bastard. Sounds like he's losing his mind the way he was talking. Trapped down here for days? He's an arse, but he didn't deserve that. None of them did. But he left a chest behind with which we can... Thievery. And pick the lock. Cure poison, cure disease. Awesome. So I feel like the cave is clear. With the exception of. Fuck. Exception of them. I'm gonna put you back here. Put you back here. Put you back here. Oh, a giant crab is in there. Phew. Phew. All right. Um, take a shot. We are going to second wind. Keep our vitality high. And we shall defend. Um, yeah, just keep taking shots. Doing one damage at a time? This is crazy. Um, we second wind. Yep, gotta keep our health high. So we don't take any more wounds. Miss. Shoot. The crabs are, like, moving around. They're gonna flank us. Twelve blunt damage. Holy shit. Second one? What is that? What happened there? Let me see. Um, oh, a giant crab has an injured arm. Because I already have an injured arm. Okay. What are we doing here? Did it. Um, we'll just defend. Um, definitely second wind. We'll move up. We'll also move up. And defend. There's a crab. Move up and attack. Take it out. We're just repositioning here. Because the crabs are circling around on us. Can I take a shot? Yeah. Keep defending. Another shot. Take it out. And we win. Awesome. 350 XP. We got Chitin. We got an arrow. OK. 
Okay. And there's some loot up here. Awesome. Some old crates. Old and ruined shipping crates litter this part of the cave. Only smugglers would use a place like this to store their goods. Perhaps there are other similar caches to be found on the outer aisles. We have a lantern now. We can give her a lantern as well. No reason not to. And then the chest. Uh, we will pick the lock. Gold padded armor and a short sword. So who can utilize the padded armor? It's got a soak of two. It's light armor. Yeah, I need as much armor as we can get. Then the short sword. Um, damage two to seven, damage one to six, but it's got a crit, higher crit chance. Melee, slashing, piercing. We're stacking piercing chance and damage here, so we have 11 arrows. Still have an injured arm. One more fight and she'll level up. But I feel like we might be sort of done with the cave now. That's the cave entrance. I know there are crabs out there. I think I can... I think we'll take them. I think we'll take them uh, next episode. And, uh... You know... Maybe get a rest in. Sort of finish up with this area. And probably move on. So, uh, so yeah. Overwrite, yes. And then, uh, so yeah, um, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If you dislike, leave a dislike. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, uh, stay tuned because we've got more episodes coming. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you all in the next episode.